wish to speak with you. Okay. Mr. Kennedy, yeah. he is in the cabinet room recording on television some of his statements in the press conference today, and uh, I'll have him call you to say. Well, now, let me, should I tell you what the problem is? All right. And uh, this, uh, the, uh, I've just seen these parents, you know, these kids that have been picked up or uh, lost down in Mississippi. And uh, I think that uh, uh, two things. Number one, I think he should probably make a statement about that. Now, I heard he said something at the press conference this morning. Right. But I think it should really be more formalized, uh, although I haven't seen the statement, and perhaps it's satisfactory. Second, I think you should consider seeing them, uh, the parents. And third, I think you should consider making a call to uh, Governor Johnson and expressing concern so it would be said that he had made that call. All right. Do yeah, you know the facts about that? Yes, the sir. I'm very well acquainted with them, yeah. sir. And um, now you see, uh, yesterday, uh, I told him to use it you know, the helicopters, and they get the FBI in as if it's a kidnapping. So we're doing all we can. But I think that uh, if people are going to get, there's going to be more of this, and people are going to wonder. Let me read you his que answer. The question was, Mr. President, do you have any information about the three kids that disappeared in Mississippi? The answer, the FBI has a substantial number of men who are closely studying and investigating the entire situation. We have asked him to spare no effort to secure all the information possible and report to me as soon as possible. We believe they're making every effort to locate them. I have had no report since breakfast, but at that time I understood they had increased their forces in that area. Several weeks ago, I asked them to anticipate the problems that would come from this and to send extra FBI personnel into the area. They have substantially augmented their personnel in the last few hours. That was his statement on it. You see, I think it, uh, to express sort of concern, right? you know, personal concern for them, and for their families. Now, I don't know whether he wants... I've seen their families. It might not be necessary, but uh, uh, we're going to have more of this. And yes, sir. Hell of a problem. And it is. But I think at least... I think that the... What the uh, I do think he should call the governor. All right. And just say that uh, how concerned he is. Will you be in your office for a while, sir? Yeah. All right, sir. And would you uh, have him just think about those three possibilities? And while he's on television, he might just... You know, just supplement that uh, answer by expressing personal concern about them. And that well, the, the two things that they're doing on television right now is his rereading his statement on Lodge and, and Taylor, and second, rereading his restatement of U.S. policy on uh, Vietnam. Yeah. Those are the two things that he's reading on television. They wanted that for the for the TV audiences. Yeah. And I'd uh, like to have him <coughs> say something also, you know, even just a paragraph on. So it got on television about his concern about this thing. All right, sir. I think it'd make them feel, and that's not as important as just the fact that he's on top of all these things. Right. I think it's uh, the human equation that's damn important for, every, for everything. All right, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir.